Okay, so we're going to create some windows. Um, if you don't already have this set up, just create a box, hollow it out, add some spawn points. That's pretty much all you need. Um, we're going to zoom out a little bit in our bird's eye view, click the brush tool or the block tool, which is the cube one, and then we're going to hold down Alt just so it doesn't um, go to the axes, go to the grid. If you don't want to, you can have it go to the grid, but it's just more convenient to hold down Alt. Um, make it a certain height by doing it in the side view. So clicking and holding on, let's make it about that high, so it's a nice wall. I'm going to leave a little bit of space on the side if you want, just so you can walk by it. We're going to um, press enter. If it's not the correct texture, click on it, hold on to shift A, that will bring up your texture window, browse for a different one, I'll change it just for the sake of it, and change it to whatever texture you want, press apply. Um, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on that wall and we're going to create some windows. So all you do is use, use the clipping tool, um, hold on to Alt so you have more control of it, control over it. Make sure it's white on both sides. You're going to cut, you're going to uh, delete one side. You do that by cl clicking the clipping button. Press enter, it'll cut it in half, cut it in however much you want. Do it one more time from up to down. Now you're going to click the selecting tool and make sure you just have this part selected and still holding Alt. Make sure you, you're having it straight also. Cut it out, cut it out one more time. So now you just have this part. Um, what we're going to do is change the, well, let's cut out another window also. So holding Alt, clip, clip, click the middle part. Clip. Okay, now we have our two windows. Let's control click on both of them, press shift A, and put in glass. So now we have our glass, and you see how it's kind of, there's all these lines, and that's just the texture. But what I like to do is just press fit, and now it's all smooth. So with one of them, we're going to press control T and it's going to bring up our function um, window. You're going to go down to Funk Breakable. Click on that. And these are a bunch of attributes that you can have for Funk Breakable. Um, the only ones that are important are Strength, which is set at 1 by default. I'm going to change that to 25. So that means after 25 damage, this will break. You can also change material type. So if it's like a wood, you can go down to wood. But it's gla glass by default. We'll click Apply. Now we have our two windows. One's breakable, one's not breakable. Now we're going to go over here, and we're going to click on our floor, and we're going to make some water. Again, using your, your clipping tool, cut out a little square in the floor. Click, click. Click on that specifically. Click, click. Now we just have this square, or this rectangle cut out. We're going to go to the, our side view and pull it down, still holding Alt, and now we have this bottom section right here. So we're going to make that into a little pool. You're going to click um, Control H, or you can press um, Make Hollow, and change that to, let's say, 12. Press OK. Now we're going to ungroup by pressing Control U, and we're going to take this top piece, and we're going to Pull into Alt and make it a little bit smaller like that. So it's inside the walls. And we're going to pull it down with the bottom one. So it's in the middle. And then pull this down a bit. So it's down about there. So now we have this box. And we're going to press Shift A to change the texture. Go to Browse. Put in Water. I'll choose uh, Water DX70 is a nice one, so just double click on that, press apply. So now we have our water texture, our water block. It's not going to work unless you tie the water function to it, so click on it, press control T, or tie to entity if you want, and then go down to Funk Water Analog. Click apply, 
Now if you close that box, you'll see a little blue dot in there. That just means it has a, a function tied to it. So now, it, when we compile it, you'll be able to go into that water and play in it. Now, we're going to go over to this wall right here, and we're going to cut a door out of it. If you, you see how it has these giant grids? If you want to have smaller grids, you can go up to this top right here, and there's a minus and a plus with what looks like a tic-tac-toe. Press the minus one, maybe once, so now you see a better, smaller grids. Now we're going to click the clipping tool, and we're going to cut out a door, but as you see it's red and white, like I said before, click it until it's both white on both sides. Click enter, let's cut another part to it, click enter, and make sure you're just clicking the door part, and cut another one out right here. If you want you can hold alt, so now we have this just this door. Click shift A, so you're going to change the texture to a door, put in door, Double click on whatever door you want, and you see how it's kind of off center with the texture. Press fit. So now we know, now we have the door stretched out like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is on this side of the wall, we're going to create a um, little like button. You're going to make a little, let's see, let's move it actually over here. So create it right there. And as you see, you got this nice little block that's like a prison or a pillar. Move it so it's about the height of a person. And if this isn't what yours looks like, you're going to have to adjust the height and then the width and stuff. It, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you what it looks like. Press Enter. And let's change the texture. So Shift A, browse to some sort of concrete. Let's make it like a cool concrete. Press Apply. So now we have this block. What we want to do is create a button for that block. So zoom in on the bird's eye view, hold on to Alt, and make a little block like that. But you see it's too tall. So what we're going to do is holding Alt, pull it in, and pull it down. So you have this little button right here that's coming out kind of. Press Enter. We want it to be a different color. So Shift A, browse, and let's make it a different concrete. So maybe a lighter concrete. Press Apply. So now you can see it looks like a button.